what if you've got a landing page and you've got a logo or some information on the top of your website, but you want another menu or a header or a logo, whatever, to appear after you scroll up and down. So what I mean is you've got this landing page over here at the moment, and when you scroll down, this appears, and it's like a soft reveal. There's no CSS coding. There's no extra plugins in. It's just being a little bit clever with your section, your Z indexing, and of course your sticky header. But look, the idea is, is there's a bit of a soft reveal going on there. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Hey, so let's get started. What we're gonna do first is create a section which is gonna contain our kind of like temporary or initial menu, but the real menu or the header will appear after you've scrolled down the page. Now remember, if you've already got a set header uh, within your templates, you might wanna deactivate that for the home page or the landing page, because on the home page, we're gonna have a different effect going on here, okay? So just remember that. You know, in your conditions, you say you might have it on entire site, but you might exclude the home page, right? So let's just create a really basic section, okay? I'm just going to go for a section with two columns. I'm just going to go for a, uh, we'll go with a full width, okay. We'll go the column gap of no gap and the height. I'm going to set the minimum height to be zero for now. Now, this is a fake, fake thing we're doing here, okay. So don't anyone start jumping up at me and going, where's your logo and everything. We're just doing a fake um, page in effect. I'm going to stick a header up here. And I'm just going to call this a uh, fake logo, okay, like that. In fact, we'll make it a white font. Don't worry about it being invisible. We, we will add an image in, in a moment, okay? And I'm gonna go topography and we'll leave it as Roboto. And we'll just do an REM of about uh, two, okay? Honestly, I'm not fussed about what we're doing here at the moment. Now, when it comes to your menu, we could put in a full blown nav menu or we could put an icon that opens up a pop-up. For now, we're just gonna do a nav menu. Just again, for me, just to show you how this operates, I'm gonna put it on the right hand side for now and I'm going to make the font of this be white as well, and a topography, Roboto, and we'll go with, say, a 1.4, for instance. You can't see it because it's a white font. Don't worry about that. Let's go to our section. Let's just give it a background image, and let's just pick something which is quite, um, well, it's quite visual, so you can't miss the logos and everything, okay? So there we go. So at the moment, we have fake logo. Oops, let me just do the nav menu. Yep, REM, sorry, I did it as REM 1.4. There we go, 1.4, I'm not too first. We'll put the weight as 400 as well, okay? Fake logo, etc. I'm now gonna go back into my section and I'm, I'm actually gonna change it to be a box. I'm gonna go with a box 1200 and I'm now just gonna change the column position to be at the top, so everything's at the top. And I'm now just gonna mess around with the height. Let's just make the height be about, I don't know, let's go with, um, Let's go with 500. We've already got this section. I'm going to just duplicate this section. So we've got another one below. I'm now gonna get rid of the image and I'm instead gonna put a color. We'll go with a dark purple color. Okay, and we're gonna get rid of the image. I'm also gonna go to the layout and I'm gonna set this to be a minimum height layout, okay? So I've just messed around with the margins and padding of this a little bit, okay? Don't worry about the underlying point a bit, okay? Seriously, don't worry about that. I'm not focusing on that. I'm just showing you how we do this. Now at the moment, this um, uh, header, or at the moment, sits below. But what we want it to do is we don't want it to appear on your screen until you have scrolled to the bottom of this section. So this, in effect, will be hidden. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this section, and I'm gonna give it a Z index of two. I'm gonna go down to this section and give it a Z index of one, okay? I'm then, going to go to my advanced for this section, and I'm gonna to go to motion effects, and it's the normal drill. It's gonna be a top sticky, okay? At the moment, it still sits at the bottom. This section is just, is nothing in there. It's just blank, and I've given it a height of about 1,279, just so we've got some movement in there. I'm now gonna pick up my, let me just pick this up correctly. Okay, so this is section one, this is section two. I'm now gonna pick up section two, in fact, I'm gonna call this one uh, the uh, the main one, okay? And I'm gonna change this one to be uh, initial. Y you change the name. I'm gonna drop this now to just be above the landing page section, all right? 
I'm now going to go to my second section, which is this one, and I'm now going to give it a negative margin, okay? And I'm going to do something like that. You can be a bit more scientific in it, okay? Obviously, be be more scientific with how you're doing your layout, um, okay? I'm just I'm just kind of like guessing a little bit here, but be more scientific with how you're doing your layout. Now, what will happen when we scroll down, okay? As we go down the sections, eventually that section is going to appear into view because what it is is it's actually sat behind it so what you're getting is like a soft reveal it's not a blend or a fade in effect uh, and i know that we've done videos on how you can hide sections and use a bit of code for your logo or whatever to change we've got videos on that but this is a really simple case of having a blend in section and just to just to just to reiterate what i mean by that is you could, if you want, completely get rid of, say, um, that column completely. You could have your logo, let's just pretend, right? You've got it now in the middle and you might have some further text or whatever you've got. So when you're doing your reveal, you've got your logo and then the menu appears, the header, and then it's going to disappear when you scroll back down again. But it is there. And if you've got any further content on the page, because you're probably thinking, well, is this going to work or not? Let's just stick in an image. You scroll down and look, the, the image is now appearing. We got our logo. And look, as we scroll, it's a sticky header at the top. So it's always be there. But then when you scroll back, you get that effect going on. OK, so that's something. It's a really simple, easy way to do it. There are other ways to do this, by the way. There's about 50 different ways you could do this, but this is the way I tend to do it. And it's dead easy and simple. And uh, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope this is of some use to you.